Hello everybody, Tom here from MS Power User and today I'm going to show you how to make a Windows 10 USB bootable drive. Now there's two ways of doing this so let's look at the easy one first. To do this you're going to need two things, an ISO of Windows 10 and a small program called Rufus. I'll link these in the description if you don't have them. Once you've got both of those, open up Rufus and plug in your USB stick. You should see a screen like this, and to make things easy, you don't actually have to change anything in the settings. Simply load your Windows 10 ISO by clicking the little disk icon, and make sure these three options are ticked, which they should be anyway. Once you've done that, hit go, and boom, Rufus does the rest. Once it's done, you can start using your USB bootable stick straight away. Not too difficult, right? That's the easier of the two ways of doing it, so now we'll look at the harder way, which doesn't require any programs, but does require a little bit more time and patience. To get started, make sure your USB stick is plugged in and open command prompt as an administrator. To do this, simply right click the command prompt and click run as admin. You'll be greeted with the command prompt window in which you need to type in disk part and hit enter, which opens up the disk manager. After that, type in list disk to get an overview of what disks you have on your PC. You'll need to select the USB stick after that, so type in select disk with the number of the disk you want to select. Mine is disk 3, so I'll be typing in select disk 3. It might be different for you, and remember to be really careful when selecting your disk. You don't want to accidentally format something. Moving on, we need to clean our memory stick, so simply type in clean and hit enter. We'll need to create a bootable partition next, so type in create partition primary and hit enter as well. After that's done its thing, we need to select the partition, so type in select partition 1 and hit enter. Make that partition active by typing in active next. Once that's sorted, we'll need to format the USB stick into FAT32. To do this, type in format fs equals FAT32 and hit enter. And lastly, type in a sign to give the USB a letter. Nearly there with this one, you can close command prompt now and copy over your Windows 10 ISO. To do this you need to double click the ISO and copy its contents over to the USB stick. Don't just place the ISO onto the drive. Once that's sorted itself out you'll have your very own working bootable USB stick. And there we have it, two ways of making a USB bootable Windows 10 drive. Thanks for watching this video and for all Microsoft related news be sure to check out our website at mspoweruser.com.